Hello guys, I'm not giving you the wasabi today, I'm not in the right mood. Just for everyone who's clicking on this video before you get too far into it, I'm not going over any of the leaks, any of the card descriptions, anything like that. It's not worth my time, I don't have the actual images of the cards, it's really stupid. I'm not going over cards that really we don't know exactly what they are yet, we just know the translations from Chinese, and this is just one big screw up after one big screw up. And I know some people are going to label me as a pessimist when it comes to leaks, when it comes to spoilers. When I mean, these people don't realize, I say a lot of good things about Wizards, I say a lot of good things about them when it comes to their Commander products, when it comes to amazing card design, I praise them a lot, probably more than they deserve. And they've been making mistake after mistake after mistake, card stock quality poor social media handling, and yet again, the second major leak I would have to say within the last year, the last one being this big disaster, someone snuck out a whole foil sheet of Ixalan rares, and I'm saying that with air quotes by the way because it's obvious that all of this stuff has been happening within the past two years, we've had all these leaks happen, and it seems that people want to blame it on employees being dissatisfied. They want to stick it to Wizards, something like that. When it is very likely that Wizards could have easily just fabricated all of this hype, made it look unintentional, because you have to realize, it's been happening in different ways, someone snuck out a whole sheet of foils, like how likely is that going to happen and no one's going to know about it? And why would anyone feel motivated to then post pictures of it on the internet? I mean, what do they have to gain? It just doesn't make any sense, and then you have the whole crap with the German website accidentally putting the product information on their website first, and then Wizards covered it up, and then they posted the official information on the English site, so some people have debated me, say, hey, that's not actually a leak. Okay, fine, I'll give you that one. Then you have this, this bit of information, all these leaks from China, like what the hell is going on here? All these cards now, you know the information, you know the description, I've heard people say this is what Karn does, and I'm not paying attention to any of it. And again, if you think I'm going to do that until we get official spoilers, I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to wait till then. There is no way that I'm going to be buying buying into this fabricated hype, because that's exactly what it is. I'm not usually one for conspiracy theories, but it's clear that even if it isn't a conspiracy, even if it isn't them intentionally leaking these, it's still poor management. It's still a big screw up on their part. So either they just have a lot of incompetence when it comes to their management, or they are just this desperate that they feel the need to leak their own product information, their own cards. Both explanations, no matter how you try to explain it away to me, it's still sad. It's still pathetic. And I was completely fine with them giving spoilers to, you know, however many people that agree with their ideology. They want to give them the spoilers and help their channel out. They want to help out their Twitter, get them more followers whatever. They do it all the time now, and I had no problem with that. They probably will never give me one. So the only positives that I can think that would ever come out of a massive leak like this would be how many people you are not giving spoilers to, even though the whole set's not out yet. A lot of cool cards that you could have given to some channels to spoil. Spoiler season is now going to be a little lackluster now thanks to this massive leak of information. But here we go again. It seems we have the same exact problem repeating itself over and over again, and we're supposed to act surprised like it's just another leak. This happens all the time now. Hey everyone, let's get on the hype train now. It's really starting to become nauseating. Hearing everyone just go after every little bit of information. I liked covering the official product information that was first leaked on the German website because that was product information. That was going to be what the actual set was going to come out throughout the year. It wasn't any specific cards or anything like that. But now that you have a description of Karn, you have a description of other cards in the set, it's going to be very difficult to have that same enjoyment as you would if the set had no leaks. We're still talking about having a spoiler season, but we're talking about a set that has leaked information months before it even comes out. Now, I don't think we're that far away from Dominaria like we were when we got the leaks for Ixalan, but still, it's unexpected. I don't know if this is just them being desperate yet again. I have those theories. They know a lot of people are upset about Masters 25, Iconic Masters. It's blowing up in their face. People are letting them hear it about card quality. And they want people to get excited about something. So they go and leak their own information. So I don't know what to think anymore. I wouldn't be surprised if they did it. But even if they didn't, you still have poor management. And the fact that this is happening more often now would then mean that you have to make personnel changes. And you have to either give pay raises, incentivize people to not want to leak this information in the first place, because either they're trying to retaliate against you, or they're just doing it for fun. 
I don't know. But it's just not a good look for this company. And I have defended them when it comes to their products, when it comes to card design. I haven't mentioned card quality that much. Of course, everybody has mentioned the cardstock. You even have some of the most loyal supporters of Wizards mentioning the cardstock and how poor it is. You can open up pack fresh cards and it just looks like a stack of Pringles. It's really pathetic. But again, people are going to label me as negative. I just want to cause drama by making a video like this. I wouldn't have to make videos like this. I wouldn't want to make videos like this if Wizards of the Coast didn't make a habit of screwing up time and time and again. I'm not just looking for reasons to make this video. I wanted to make this video just to help people out who haven't been playing this game for that long understand that there was a time in Magic where product information was actually valuable and spoilers were spoilers and people actually got excited for sets because they didn't know everything or everything seemed really new. Now they tried an experiment with Iconic Masters that was a little bit different. They actually spoiled the cards months in advance to get people hyped up for it, backfired on them, people lost interest in the set when it came out. Turns out cards like Mana Drain just aren't meant to be chase cards. But the overall MSRP, the fact that they're selling these in big box stores like Walmart, Target, if you go to your local game store, they don't want to buy any more Iconic Masters. They probably are not going to buy a ton of Masters 25 just for the fact that it's low card quality that's the one thing until they fix card quality why do you want to buy a lot of it in the first place and then of course you have walmart lowering the overall value because hey if you can get it at walmart why do you need to go to your local game store doesn't make any sense so ten dollars per pack terrible idea and this just piles onto it all dominaria leaks it's just disgusting makes me want to throw up I've been pretty loyal to this game. I have invested a lot of time. I've invested a lot of money into the game, and it's because I like it. So if you think I'm being a little bit too dramatic about it, it's only because I care this much. You know, go figure. A game I like playing, I care about the outcome. I care about the longevity of it. You could celebrate 25 years of Magic's history, but if you're not willing to fix these mistakes or own up to your mistakes, you can't expect another 25 years. It's really ridiculous. That's just about all I really wanted to say in this video. I know a lot of people are going to disagree. A lot of people just don't care about leaks. They really don't care, and that's perfectly fine. If you enjoy getting card information early, to each his own. I like getting it in actual card form. I like looking at the card, the visuals, the artwork. And then the text, reading it, seeing what the abilities are, seeing the power and toughness, that interests me the most. I don't want to see translations from another country that leaked information and have to hear from X, Y, and Z Twitter accounts about every single card in the set. It's really freaking annoying. And if Wizards could stop it, I guarantee you they could stop it. So believe my conspiracy theory or not. I don't really care. The point is, is that Wizards of the Coast is ruining the appeal, ruining the anticipation for their sets by leaking this information early, and you pile this onto everything else they've been messing up. It's just a terrible look. It makes them look desperate, which is kind of how you know that they're feeling the pressure. People don't like the master sets anymore. They're not filled with good value cards. People don't feel like they're going to make money off of it. $10 MSRP doesn't really give them a lot of wiggle room. But again, jump on me if you want to. I just really care about this game. And even though I don't play standard, I don't play modern, I can still feel the impact. Especially when I go to my local game stores and I see that there's fewer and fewer people there. For things like pre-release, for things like draft, I can guarantee you, Iconic Masters draft wasn't that impressive. People were not going there, they weren't as excited. Eternal Masters draft was impressive. They had a lot of people there, and I can almost guarantee you that Masters 25 isn't going to bring a lot of people to game stores to draft. Now, I'm not going to say this Masters impact is going to really have an effect on Dominaria, but it seems like they're falling into that same trap, leaking this information early, obsessing over spoilers over and over and over again, in the hopes that it's going to affect all the hype around the set, which I'm sure a lot of people are excited to go back to Dominaria. But it's not going to help that hype when we already know the majority of the cards in the set. It's quite disappointing. But anyway guys, let me know what you think about the Dominaria leaks. Let me know what you think about Wizards of the Coast. Any of their issues, handling information, social media, whatever you want to talk about, card quality. As always, you guys have a wonderful day. Void here signing off. See you all next video.